hello friends welcome to the this video uh, this video is the uh, is the uh, is the part of uh, data science series and in this video we are going to see how to do the version control of our code or the programs or the code folder we will uh, actually we have already seen uh, in in a few uh, last videos uh, that uh, that that uh, how to do the programming and then you know how to debug the code and then how to make a files how to use the anaconda specifically in, in while doing the python programming so we did a bit of extensive uh, programming however uh, there is a there is a one issue and that uh, issue we are going to discuss so for example we have a let's say we, we have got a requirements from the customer and we are started writing the code and it's a natural tendency to decompose the big problem or the moderate problem in the small small steps and we have uh, some steps to implement uh, starting from the first step second step and onwards so let's say we did a coding at 9 o'clock started coding 10 o'clock we finish and we started testing and then uh, we, we might have got a, a pass I mean we tested uh, successfully and then at 10 30 again we finished the we, we finished the coding and then at 3 o'clock we did a testing okay so uh, we, we started coding at the uh, 10 30 and then uh, for the step 2 and then we did the testing so let's see so let's say uh, in, a, in a step 1 when we tested we, we found that it, 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 it is successfully passed and then we started uh, coding again for the step 2 at 10 30 am we we write a, a bit a bit bit more in 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 a step two and then at 3 pm after lunch we started testing it and then we got to know that it got failed it was not serving the objective it was not working as per our objective and then we found the reason that we have really coded we have coded in a, in a very in a very uh, 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 in, a, in a wrong way okay so but the issue is when we have a code of step 1 top of that we added the code of step 2 also and they might be somewhat related also and then we want to go back to the code of step 1 but since we added the code of step 2 we are not able to we are not able to separate out the step 1 code and even if we want to I think it may take a it may take a few hours into that so why to waste the time and also not always we will go for we will get that sometimes you know um, you, you you really miss that and you can't uh, uh, recover the step 1 uh, coding so what is the solution for that and here I'm, I'm just uh, explaining the two steps uh, coding but actually in a, in a real life project while giving the solutions we will not just have the multiple steps 10 steps 15 steps 20 steps and 100 steps but also multiple files okay so each step could be associated with the multiple files also though we are showing for the for the simplification purpose we are showing just the one file or one coding step one we are considering right so so what's the solution use a VCS version control systems so what you do here whenever the coding step one and you got a testing successfully passed just push that step one code in a VCS okay then you go to the step two and then testing fail you want to push it you can or you can avoid also it's up to you now 
how to retrieve so once you once you found that the step 2 code is fail so we want to recover restore the step 1 code you just give the pull this red arrow is nothing but the pull request from the VCS and it will bring the step 1 version of the code in your in your local folder local machine okay so we will see what is the, this version control ecosystems uh, graphically here and and then just after that we will move on to the real life uh, I mean we will uh, we will uh, do the hands on uh, on the VCS so you will have a folder normally this is a folder general folder what you use on your PC would accept that there is a dot jit dot git is added and that's for time being we let us just call it a local git and we will not go into that but we are going to use it very soon this is local machine folder and then this is the web or cloud git let's call it github or let's call it the web version of the git or let's call it a github whatever so let's move on to our code so we have a code let's say this three four files and this data so let's let's do one thing let's make uh, this experiment on the new code which is let's just create an empty folder github code put the don't put it right now anything okay so we have uh, this and then let's shift okay uh, let's go to this and just copy this path just copy this path okay go back and now type cmd and cd and then paste that path after cd okay and then enter so you have come to this now you can use a ls not sure whether ls will work here it okay so it's working here nowadays uh, now what we will do we will get the we will connect this folder to the our web version repository but before that we will create a, a web version um, git repository so go to the github and my account is uh, uh, okay uh, it was open sometime before and that's why it directly allow me to go inside uh, for you it might ask you to enter the username and password so just do that and get into the github now just find out the repositories your repository is here okay shortcuts are also there okay so let's go by this one so if you already have uh, some repositories they will sh it will show that and we want to create the new one so let's go for okay so already exist in this account okay it has not cleaned properly I think I had deleted but okay fine we can just make a zero zero one no problem okay so let's make a private add readme it readme is you can write anything about this code how to build it or how to use it or what this code does what is the application what this application this code for and all those things so whatever is in your mind and you want to help out the people who will be using this repository if you want others to use then you can include those instructions or the information in the readme file now add git now this is also important thing but at this point at this moment we will not go into that but just we will add it so git ignore file also git ignore is dependent on the uh, dependent on different platforms so let's 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 choose the part because we know we are going to use this 
repository for Python platform. So let's choose uh, Python here. Okay, got this. And now create repository. So we have created a repository. You can see that. Okay, even you can go back your repository and you can create one. Okay, so you can see you have uh, two files in this repository. Again, remember this is a web version of repository. Okay, uh, now we have a, we want this code or we want our local folder to get connected with this repository web version of this web repository so what we will do we will just copy uh, this link of this repository so github actually generates a generates a repository uh, link and it's very simple normally github.com chandrasekhar p that means username and then it was having a repository name uh, so just you can also copy you don't have to remember that you just copy it and what you do once you go here you just put a git clone insert make sure wherever in whichever the folder local folder you are running this command that folder is empty and I'm running it it might not give a access to me okay it has given access but in case if it doesn't give we will we will come to that so there are there are two commands if, if in case if it gives a uh, some a password or something uh, one uh, it may ask a, a username first and then password of yours okay um, now and since uh, in a in a web repository in a in a web version of github you it is your account you know the username of that account and you also know the password of that account so you can just enter that if it as it is asking you to enter the uh, username and password now i have already used this command prompt cmd console so it's not asking me but okay so once it is cloned successfully ls and it has created a folder data science underscore zero one okay so just cd that means go to that folder data you just use a tab and it will come and then now you are there you go to the ls and you can see you have a readme md file okay uh, here it is not showing a, a git ignore file i think um, uh, because it is with the dot so it is a kind of the hidden but uh, if you go to the github code data science folder and you can see this is the git is also there dot git and dot git ignore okay that means our git this is the git local so that has got uh, into this folder and git ignore is also there so that is a hidden somewhere it might not be hidden for example if you use a powershell uh, it will show that uh, git ignore file also but anyway uh, at this moment we will not bother about the git ignore but yes we got a git local also in a, our local machine folder fine so what now let's consider because this is our working folder and we don't have any file programming so let's assume that we have started programming here and we uh, on the local machine there is an IDE I mean uh, you know uh, the development environment and we have uh, created so many uh, python files tested for the objectives of our application and okay it is working it is not working but our our coding process is still continuing okay so just let me have uh, this code in our github git local machine folder 
utilities okay so these are the files so let's assume that we have written these files after starting a git okay sorry it should not be like this it should be in the this folder okay this is our local machine folder and we are inside that the git local is lying so here you have to put that okay so we have come and now you can just check this your git local git okay let me come here yeah git status okay this is the very frequent uh, uh, frequent uh, command you will be using so just remember that and it is showing that okay the some of the files untracked files are added okay so red it is in the red that means and it is also suggesting you can add them so you can add them if you really want to add them in your local git repository you can do so by git add space dot okay so here be aware of this situation that after add there is a space and then dot and then enter okay so now let's see what is the status it says well so it has come to the git repository but the local whether it has come to the web version or github repository let's see no it hasn't come as expected okay so now we have a we have a git add is done now we can commit that okay so commit this will not do anything on the again the web version of the github but it will just be ready for getting getting or transferring the data it, it is just the preparation for 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 getting connected with the uh, uh, or before connecting with the global version of github okay so git commit and some message and this will be the identify i mean you can identify the different different versions so without commit command without typing the commit command before pushing the data to the uh, github version you 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 cannot you know you cannot push that you cannot push the uh, data to 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 web version so here just in added 3 k n n 3 approaches of k n n and data okay so something i mean what we are adding to the that file okay so that must be having a some short description so just bring that description in your mind and put that along with the commit git commit command and just enter it we are through with this now whatever the things the commit we we committed it is it is for the local git now how to transfer whatever is committed to the github version you can do so using git push origin okay but before that you don't you might not be knowing the branch so you can know the on which branch you are there because once you downloaded the once you clone the repository github repository to your local machine it is actually it has access actually the default branch most of the uh, web versions they are the there it is also called as a master let's see whether the here also a by default the name of the branch is a master or not so just git branch or and yeah it is not a master it is a main and that's why we can use a we can use git push origin and then main that's it okay so let's see if it's okay so it has pushed the data 
it has pushed the data it is saying that resolving deltas it has first the you know objects counted the objects then compresses then 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 writing the objects then the total delta resolving deltas and mean to mean that means this is the local mean and this is the global mean that means a wave version mean and i hope the data might have come here if i do this okay so it has come here right so this way you can have a now again when you do when you do change the data when you do change the data here uh, sorry in the local machine if you are let's say changing the thing so let's see okay let me create that let me create the additional file or let me just okay uh, just 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 open with edit plus or edit notepad and here okay so now you can you want to add something here the print accuracy is or test accuracy is okay so let's say i will just delete this and test accuracy in percentage hmm. and okay so that means it has got change just close this file you can open it in the development environment python development environment like pycharm or even in your anaconda or even in the visual code uh, vcs uh, visual code studio okay so now if you see that anything happen here so just put a git status and yes the one file it is saying it is modified okay it is also saying the modified and that's why git add this okay and then git commit minus m okay updated third approach updated third approach okay enter and then git okay uh, you can see here whenever uh, we we do the commit uh, it is actually you know it is running s something to remember those changes um, okay I'll, I'll i'll come to that in a in a little bit uh, but but let's push this push git push origin main yeah. okay. okay so you will see that uh, you can see we we said uh, additional approach uh, sorry the third approach okay and then on the one file updated third approach okay this is the latest version so let me come to this now okay so while using you know we have a this is in the local folder uh, but this is the vcs so this is the extra storage for us okay and definitely uh, that is why uh, there are there are some cloud versions like a github a gitlab a git bucket bit bucket also and there could be a uh, some five or six more uh, uh, git uh, git web version of the git repository web portals okay uh, so this is the extra thing so what they do I mean uh, 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 in, a, in a simplest in a simple and the obvious way when we have a step one what we can do we can just put a uh, we can just put a, uh, some backup folder or something in our local machine and put that step one in a folder zero one okay then when we write the step two again create a folder uh, folder underscore zero two and then put that step two code not step step two code will have a step one code as well as a step two code okay so this is the accumulative uh, data coding uh, uh, coding process so th this way what will happen if there are the 10 versions or 20 versions 20 times the folders are getting written right so of course it is it will spend a lot of memory on your desk or 
even if you try to store it on the web uh, web storage I think that is also going to be a costly affair for anyone so what this VCS does VCS actually keeps a track of what is inserted and what is deleted and that's why the thing which are not the thing which are not changed from the previous version is is not is not uh, is not to be uh, uh, written uh, in a, in a next version and that's how it saves the memory so that's a called as a efficient chain storage or it uh, uh, that that is nothing but it tracks the insertion and deletion so that there could be an insertion of the file or insertion of the within the file some characters even the deletion is like that if you file you might delete the file or you might the delete the sum of the text code of the file within a file okay so that's we, uh, that's a, the, uh, adopting that process it it is able to uh, have a efficient storage okay so fine i think we have seen uh, in this video that how uh, github or git repositories can be used for keeping a keeping a track of versions and in case if something go, goes something goes wrong i think you can revert back to the to the earlier versions anytime you want so thanks for watching this video let me stop here